Hey, uh, what's going on? I uh, I saw I saw Epic. It's the new cartoon from uh from 20th Century Fox. Uh, but I mean they've done movies like um the Ice Age series, like Robots, like Horton Hears a Who, Rio, um, and Rio Two comes out next year. Um, uh, so in this movie are the voices of Amanda Seyfried, Josh Hutcherson. Colin Farrell, Christoph Waltz, Aziz Ansari, Chris O'Dowd, Pitbull, Steven Tyler, Jason Sudeikis, and Beyonce. Uh, so you have regular ass humans, which are Amanda Seyfried and Jason Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis is like a scientist. And he's kind of like Doc Brown from Back to the Future. He's like the town, you know what I'm saying, nut. And he he believes these things that nobody else does. So he's he's outcasted. He lost his marriage. He lost his career, and he's stuck. He's stuck on this idea that there are yay big people living in the forest. And um, I mean he's right. He has cameras set up all through all through the woods. Um, and I mean when it's like motion detectors that go off whenever uh whenever he feels some whenever the cameras basically get hit or you know what I'm saying y'all know motion detectors I don't know why the fuck I'm trying to explain motion detectors um but um it's not really explained but I think his ex-wife slash Amanda Seyfried's character's mom passes away and she goes to stay with her dad and he's so stuck on his his forest theory that he's not hearing what she's saying at the time and Oh, she's she's getting ready to do something and gets dragged into the woods. And at this time, um, it's like Colin Farrell is leading the good guys, and they're they're leaf men, and they're and they're um having this ceremony for Beyonce, which is basically Mother Nature, the queen the queen of the woods, and she she's basically picking an heir to the throne. And while she's doing that, they get ambushed by Christoph Waltz and his villains, which are called uh, Boggins. The Boggins are going to attack the Leafmen and the good guys, basically. And this gets this happens, and it leads to that. And Amanda Seyfried's character is shrunken down to the size of the Leafmen and the Boggins and and all the the woodland creature forest people. Um, and basically, it's it's uh it's 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 and basically it's a string of events that lead to the end of the movie. It's a power struggle throughout the movie. The Leafmen have to do something by uh by the time the moon reaches its highest point in the sky, and that's what gets uh the forest back where it needs to be that's what gets amanda cypher back home and um i mean it's a good movie man like it's not epic like the title states but but it, it's a good animation you know what i'm saying there hasn't been a cartoon released since the cruise so i mean i mean kids the kids in my theater love this shit um I mean, it's colorful. Um, the sl I mean, the slugs are funny. Fucking Chris O'Dowd and Aziz Ansari. Um, I mean, it's it's woodland creatures, and I mean, if I'm a little kid, maybe maybe the Boggins are a little scary, but I mean, no kids were really freaking out when they were on the screen. I think I think the standouts, the standouts voice wise, was Aziz Ansari, Christoph Waltz, Colin Farrell. Um, I guess you could say Josh Hutcherson, but I mean, I didn't even really, I couldn't even tell it was him until I was just, I had to, I was like doing a process of, of elimination it was like, that has to be him. But I mean, uh, Pitbull's in it for a little bit. Steven Tyler's in it. They, all the musicians in this movie are in it for a little bit. So man, with, with that being said, man, um, Epic is dope. Um, I mean, I mean, come December when you're looking for a movie for best cartoons of the year, I'm sure 
with everything coming out, with the Cruise that's already out, with uh, Turbo, Despicable Me 2, uh, Monsters University that's all coming out, man. Epic is going to probably be the weakest uh, animation of the year. But, well, I mean, I don't even count Escape from Planet Earth because I ain't see that shit. Um, but, I mean, Epic is worth seeing, especially if you got kids, man. Go take them to see it. If you're just a kid at heart like me, go see it. If you review movies, go see it. I mean, um, uh, stay tuned, man. Like, I got raps coming, clearly. Uh, Ludacris, um, I Don't Give a Fuck mixtape. I'll probably review that next weekend. Um, what else, man? Um, hop on Facebook, man. Randy Little Movie Reviews, man. Like that page for me. Get me to 30 likes. Um, that's it, man. Uh, peace.